The open water. The last place you want to get into difficulties. Last year, lifeguards from the Royal National Lifeboat Institution rescued more than 3,000 swimmers in distress off the coast of the United Kingdom. However, tragically, there were still over 100 accidental fatalities in coastal waters in 2021. But what if there was a way to get to swimmers in trouble even faster, without lifeguards even having to set foot in the sea? Well, here in southern Wales, a new solution is being trialled. One good thing obviously from this is because we've had comms with Cardiff, um, it's just happened, they will then put their own notice out to let other aviators know okay, that there is going to be some sort of remotely piped aircraft system um, thrown from this, from this beach. Now it sounds like they're talking about a drone here, but it's not just any drone. It's an IP67 waterproof rated drone, so it can fly but it can also float on water. Um, the camera is waterproof, um, everything about it is waterproof, it can fly in the rain, um, it can fly much higher wind speeds than a typical drone, um, and yeah, you, so you can sit on the water, float and take off again. But that's not all. This drone has a hidden feature that's crucial in its mission to save lives. An ability to not only carry, but to release. You've got the payload release mechanism. You can hook up a buoyancy aid to it and uh, remotely release it out at sea. Put that over your head, so put your arms through. And that's exactly what we've come to see in action today, in a simulated rescue with me as the willing guinea pig. There you go, and we're in. <laughs> okay, this is cold. It's really cold and I've got to get into that. Now, there are, of course, situations where you wouldn't need the drone. For example, if I was close to the shore, in that case, lifeguards could just dive straight in and rescue me. But here, hundreds of metres from shore, and when every second counts, the drone can beat even the fastest of swimmers in a race. Whoa! OK! I'm ready to be rescued right now! <laughs> The rescue drone can carry multiple types of buoyancy aids, ranging from a tube buoy like you see here, to one that instantly inflates upon hitting the water. We simulated the rescue because he needs special permission to drop things out of the sky. And this expands with a carbon dioxide canister, much like you see in those fizzy drinks machines. This flotation device, so that it means I can hold on to this until I'm rescued. <laughs> now, safely back on dry-ish land, I wanted to find out more about the drive behind this project and whether this would lead to lifeguards being replaced by drones. Technology is new to our industry and I think if people embrace it to support the lifeguards and lifesavers, it could be phenomenal. It's not there to replace people, that's really important. We need lifeguards, we need humans to, to do rescues, to resuscitate, to give CPR, first aid, all that kind of stuff when it goes horribly wrong. I think this will enhance traditional lifeguarding. So I think we'll still absolutely need the lifeguards, but this technology will um, allow them to maybe do their job better because they have more visibility and they can get to places quicker. This life-saving system will be trialled early next year. At £900, the training doesn't come cheap, but apparently it will be funded by the beach owner or manager. There's probably quite a few different use cases. The drone obviously is absolutely great for dropping the equipment like you saw today, but it also has other um, opportunities, so it could be used to, uh, to spot rip currents. And it's not just how the drones can be used, but the additional add-ons that can be plugged into them in the future. These range from high-resolution cameras for photography, thermal cameras, loudspeakers, and even sonar. While this will be the first system of its kind in the UK, a similar system's been in place in the Spanish city of Valencia since 2016. And as you can see here, it's clearly proving it can save lives. <laughs> 